tractor. You don't really see a tractor, do you, Murdoch? You're right, I was just guessing. Well, don't guess. What does it look like? Ink. It looks like ink. Look, see, I've been doing these most of my life, off and on, and I don't see nothing. So I just guess. It looks like a butterfly, don't it? See, there's the wings, and there's the head. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. I see that. Yeah, it's a butterfly. Good. Butterfly. Now what do you see? Garbage bag. Empty garbage bag. I'd like a trash bag, please, if you have one. I really could use a trash bag. Trash bags! I want trash bags! I want them! I want them! I want trash bags! The guy hasn't... Shut up! I want trash bags! Do you have any trash bags? Maybe he'll put his head inside and suffocate. Trash bags! <laughs> Trash bags? Give me a trash bag. I want a trash bag. Where do these morons come from? For more! I want some more! I want to rest! What on earth is that? We have a new prisoner. He wants trash bags. Trash bags? Why? I don't know. I never saw anything like it before. You give him a trash bag, and he's quiet for a couple of hours, and then it starts all over again. Trash bag! New trash bag! Trash bag! Trash What do you make of that, Doctor? Well, I'd like to spend about an hour with him later on. I, uh, I got my doctor at LSU in neurotic fixations. I think in about, oh, 20, 30 minutes, I could tell you whether this boy is really fixated or just trying to uh, sectionate into the soft walls of a hospital facility. I sure would like to have you try, Doctor. He's been keeping everybody on this wing up all night. Well, I'll take a shot at it before I leave the seat. Okay, Murdoch, you're on. I think you know what I want, something tasteful. Something with red roses in it? I like that. Ah, oh, the rose. <coughs> the rose is a flower of passion, which can be fully appreciated for its... Murdoch, just go. You should take care and watch your attitude when speaking to people with fragile psyches. What's more, you give the impression that your attitude is singularly and pointedly directed at an individual, when in fact you're just one mean, angry sucker to everybody. Get! 
Gone. Really, Bea, you shouldn't talk to Murdoch like that. It's gonna drive him nuts. Hmm. Did you ever see a hearse go by and think that someday you'd surely die? They put you in a little box and cover you over with dirt and rocks. How am I doing? Who sent you here? Hey, wait, man. I'm, look, I'm just a driver. I mean, you know what I mean? I'm not even supposed to sing, but Chiquita Banana got hung up at Valley Presbyterian. Get out of here. What, what about the song? You got two more verses, Cannon. You... It is! It's crazy. It's very crazy. I'm crazy. You want to see how crazy I am, Doc? Don't be silly, pal. You're taking a fall. When a man's partner was killed, he's supposed to do something about it. And it's bad business to let a killer get away with it. Bad all around. Bad for detectives everywhere. You see, I'm bananas, Doc. Oh, Murdoch. You've been institutionalized for 10 years. It's only natural you don't want to be released. It's scary. But I can assure you that I would not release you from this hospital unless I was absolutely certain that you are just as sane as I am. Just get down, Billy. Back, back. Doc, I'd get out of here if I was you. I don't know how long I can hold him off. Don't worry. We'll take good care of your dog, Billy. I don't get it. No, ma'am, I don't want to eat my squash. Oh, this is horrible. This is just horrible. I see a giant fish eating the White House. It's a cute bit, Murdoch. But listen, why don't you try reality for a while, huh? You're making a grave mistake, General. Those tanks are up to their turrets in mud. We gotta surrender, so... Now, I want you to come in for group anytime you have any difficulty getting over the rough spots. Rough spots? I'm talking about a major breakdown here! It's not just going to make it, Doctor. How you ever gonna make it on the outside world if you keep making the food out yourself? I'm thinking about a career in medicine. Only thing you should be doing in medicine is using it for your head. Now, how much time do we have? About half a tank. What's that? Um, sounds like noise. Get out of here! Yo, you wanna kill yourself? Am I gonna fly, dude? Involuntary paralyzation is one of the primary symptoms of panic anxiety, so just try to breathe deep. Okay? Forget deep and just try to breathe. Trust me, I am an expert in my field. <clears throat> Paul Merrower, is that the cat a time to you? Come on, man! Hannibal's got this whole thing locked down! Okay, B.A., if you can hear me, blink. Raise your eyebrow. Smirk. Smile. Wince. Come on, B.A. If you stay like this, they're going to stand you in front of a bank holding a clock. Mm. Airlines always losing your luggage, isn't it? <laughs> hey, you got your porch lights on. Come on, come on out of it, guy. Slap me again and I'll break your arm. Welcome back, me. Where are we, man? You don't remember? Of course I don't remember, fool. I wouldn't be asking you. Well, we're about 36,000 feet traveling about 540 miles an hour, and I think we're going south somewhere over Mexico. 
We had a plane. Take it easy. Hannibal and Face are in trouble. They're being held hostage in the first class compartment by those skyjackers. I don't remember any skyjackers. I don't remember none of this. Traumatic shock. Memory loss is a primary symptom. We in a plane? Don't, don't, don't. We in a plane? Don't pack. Don't pack. A plane? Take it easy. Don't relax, plane. relax, a relax, plane. relax, relax. Plane. Don't, don't. But stay plane. angry, you ugly mudsucker. We gotta help our unit. <laughs> now, we gotta come up with something. There's at least three more of them, and there's only two of us. And one of us is crazy. Oh, B.A., I'm gonna need the love and support of all the friends I can get. And I want you to be my role model, somebody I can look up to when the purple wobblies start to wobble. Say what? Ah, forget it. You gotta come up with some kind of plan. If you ain't crazy no more, why don't you come up with a plan? Well, why don't you make up your mind? First I'm crazy, then I'm not. Then I'm crazy, then I'm not. She loves me, she loves me not. Shut up, Murdoch. Shut up. Now, listen. I want you to crawl up under the floor and try to get a message to Hannibal. OK. Uh, I, uh, I really can't go with these on. Ah, oh, come on. What am I going to do? Flush myself down the toilet? <laughs> yeah. I appreciate this. there, Murdoch. Now, go in there and get your stuff. Don't mess around. You know, I'm really gonna miss this place. And those warm nights in post-shock carving birds out of soap with blunt popsicle sticks. Well, they ain't gonna miss you. Now get going. Hi, Doc. Murdoch! Murdoch, I want you to tell these gentlemen that I am an emissary from the planet Fargo and that I am here to release Commander Guttar from the enemies of the Dark Star. Huh? You, Murdoch? Sometimes. We've been looking all over for you, Chief. Now, Dr. Nutball here released all of his patients. No, my good sir, this doctor has released me because I am sane. I have papers and everything. Yeah, just take it easy. No, Doctor. no, tell him. Tell him, Doc, tell him. Oh, I've tried. But these men do not speak the code. They are ignorant of the ways of our galaxy. What galaxy? Our galaxy? Courage, Murdoch! Let me show you my release papers. You see, sane, S-A-N-E, sound, sensible, wise, rational, lucid, prudent, reasonable! Home! Home at last! Mister, just taking out a cigar. No, you ain't. Oh, no. Murdoch, please. Don't look at the horses. Horses. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. I used to have horses on my walls. Horses in my bedspread. Horses in my closets. Horses. Horses everywhere. What are you, nuts? There he is, certified by the state and everything. Shut him up, man. Whoa, whoa, big fella. Whoa, easy, easy, big fella. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here, here, here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, easy, big fella. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here, whoa, whoa, easy, easy, big fella. Whoa.
no satisfaction. I ain't got no satisfaction. I ain't got no sa Hi, Murdoch. Oh, man, I was practically through the meteor shower. Time to go bye-bye. The magic word is tuberculosis. <coughs> <coughs> Good Lord! Ah. Mr. Murdoch, I don't remember him being like this. Eh, it must have been incubating all this time. Good oh. thing his test showed us the infestation this early. Uh, I gotta get him right down to County General into quarantine. Uh, County General? What I like is a complete list of all patients whom this uh, uh, Murdoch has been in contact with. He spends most of his time by himself. And with my doggy, Billy. What about my dog, nurse? He's been in the same position for a month. This man has a dog. Ah, uh, no, you see, there is no dog. Ah! It's too late, Doc! <coughs> oh, look, I don't know if I should release him. Mr. Murdoch is under care. Nurse, if you want to take responsibility for contaminating this entire ward, <laughs> maybe the entire wing, perhaps the entire hospital, then by all means, I'll leave the patient here with you. But unless you have proper quarantine facilities available... No, 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 it's just... <coughs> that... <coughs> Thank you. Oh, and if this man has been eating in the cafeteria, I want the dietitian staff to be given full examinations and, if necessary, shots. Hopefully, this thing can be contained. Oh, my dog, Billy Doc, tell me he's gonna make it. Oh, feel better, Mr. Murdoch. Right, <laughs> Carpet Flight 86, now ready for boarding. All passengers holding tickets will now be on board. He's got some structural weakness in the wing struts, and it won't hold you if you start in your aerobatics. Remember, keep an eye on the silks. If it starts to shred, take it down. I didn't know you cared, sweetheart. Thanks, PA. Don't thank me. Just keep it out the trees. Get this bird off the ground, that guy's sweating bullets. I will find civilization, muchacho. I will bring back reinforcements. What on earth will you be doing while I'm gone? Just guess, Murdoch. Just guess. Take him on down. What the heck happened to him anyway? Oh, man, you got some guys with white eyeballs living on the other side of that ridge. I mean, I've seen some crazy guys in my time. I've been in a whole ward full of them, but I've never seen anybody like those. They did that to him? Well, it wasn't a gray furry squirrel with a shotgun. Now get, get, before he croaks. I'm on the way. By the way, would you mind awfully if I borrowed your shiny little chopper? Absolutely not. It's no problem, pal. Well, that's very kind of you. Yes, I certainly take good care of it. You Americans certainly know how to take care of your friends from across the seas. Have you had dinner yet, by the way, pal? Maybe we could get together later. It's been a change of plan of staying here. What did you tell them? What else? I got a crazy bar. Oh, great. And you're not going to be there to give the performance. What are we going to use? Well, I told him he was crazy. I am crazy, Willie. Bino. Bino, you know, rhymes with Dino. What's the matter? You don't understand English? Dino, everybody loves somebody. 
What's the matter? You think I'm wearing a piece? I'm clean. I'm running a business here, not a shooting gallery. All right, we're going to make this nice and simple. We either get our truck back or we bury you underneath this store. Forgive me for not laughing, but I always find the baby's first step to be a very serious thing. Nobody comes in here and threatens me under my own roof. Especially when I'm eating a tuna fish sandwich. Smith said this guy was Looney Tunes. Looney Tunes, huh? What other TV program do you watch regularly? All right, I don't know what your game is, but we want that truck back. <laughs> the only thing that Crazy Willie ever gives back is trouble. You mess around with one of my boys, I rip off one of your trucks. Fair is fair. Can I help you with anything? This is a friend of mine. We call him Mayhem. All right, you want a war? We'll give you a war. All right. Red, and you're dead. Take one, off the top. It's your lucky day. You don't even get to bleed on the carpet. Now you tell your friends, I sell auto parts. If they want some, they should come down here and see me. I'll provide the lunch. Wait a minute. I've seen you three before. I I've seen your pictures before. I don't believe it. You guys are the A-team. I, I caught the A-team. My lord, the A-team? I've heard of them. They're them fugitives that are wanted all across the country. You mean I've been standing here working side by side with members of the A-team? There's a, there's a reward out for those guys. I would never believe it. Here I am, just a dumb clerk. I wouldn't have believed it, never in a million years. Of course, I always have my suspicions. Never did trust this one. It's in B.I. <clears throat> Hold on, be careful. I know their reputation. They're deadly. We're going to have to tie them up. Uh, OK. Um, we'll use this chain. Two lovely ladies come all the way down here to keep all Gibbons company then. Oh, oh. Do not, Pasco, do not collect your two hundred dollars. I need the Lord's Prayer, but it's the best I could do. It's over here. You sure you don't want to come with me? No, oh, no, no, no. You're gonna be freeing out of here in no time. No, you see, if they find somebody missing, it'll just make it worse for the others. You go with God. I always travel first class. <laughs> Face. He decided to stay behind for protection. You got six mangy outlaws in there holding those sisters hostage while their leader heals. Set me down now. Just set me down. Put him down, B.A. It's probably that guy we saw on the poster. Ah, uh, is Leslie okay? Oh, she's doing fine, but those other guys are running out of booze. Which is making a man sick. We gotta get in there real quick, Colonel. And every now and then, I like to drop the hammer on a piece of dirt. <laughs> You're nuts, man! Well, what's your story, man? Hi. I'm the blood lady. 
I give blood to guys with holes in them, and perhaps we can do business, muchacho, because I got a feeling you're gonna be leaking from three or four holes in a minute. Our rates are low. It's $20 a pint. We've got a special on if you buy in bulk. Hold it! You have to pay a toll, or the cookie monster will eat you. Mm. It isn't going to fly gracefully. I mean, it wasn't exactly a smooth flyer before we weighted her down. Now it's going to be like flying a Brinks truck. Murdoch, we must just persevere. We shall make the skies safe for Mumsy Daddy and Buckingham. God save the Queen. At least give it a break. Murdoch, could we hurry up? Sure, anything you want. What? We get the fire out of your eye, Doc. We got some blood on the way. Hannibal always comes through. Murdoch will be here right away. You're the same blood type. We'll do a direct transfusion and get you on your feet. Murdoch! You're both AB negative, remember? I ain't swapping blood with that sucker. He's crazy. B.A., he's the only donor we have. Unless we're gonna get you into Cedar sinai you have very special blood. I ain't gonna let you pump none of Murdoch's crazy juice in me. No way, man. He's nuts. No, he isn't, B.A. Not really. This is Howlin' Mad flying high cover on the red ball one. I'm coming in low and sideways to plug the bag. A team in need, do you read? They're out of range, that's kind of strange. Amurda, what is with all the poetry? Yeah, I noticed that too. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I got my words, my brain's working fine, but when the words come out, they wanna rhyme. Murdoch, is that you? Come in, Murdoch. This is your man, Howlin' Mad. What's the buzz, face? Listen, B.A.'s been hit. We need some of your A.B. negative. There's a doctor's house on your left as you come through town, so uh, I'll be waiting for you. No need to wait, Face. I think this is the place. He's inside. B.A., you lie still. Man, I'm warning y'all for the last time. I don't want this sucker blood in me. It's gonna make me crazy just like he is. No, it's not gonna make you crazy, B.A. It's just gonna make you mellow. You can even room with me at the V.A. I'll have him bring in an extra bunk, and you and I can watch the walls melt. Hannibal! Lay off, will you, Murdoch? Lay off what? This man has a chance for greatness. My bodily fluids are in great demand by the finest minds of our time. I give a fresh specimen to the V.A. every week. Worst that can happen to him is that he starts to hear things that he don't see and rhyme his words, just like me. Gonna get you for this, Face. What are you talking about? Face man messed up. That's why I got shot. That's why I need this sucker blood. It's gonna make me crazy, just like he is. That's why the Face man gotta pay. Uh, Hannibal, I'll uh, go get the van ready to transport him. Uh, try and cool him down for me, will you? My blood will cool him down for you, Face. <laughs> Gonna get you for this face. I can feel myself getting crazy already. You know, first your ears start to ring, and then every once in a while, your eyes start to fog over, and you start to rhyme your words. You nuts, man. Never heard me rhyming my words. What's the craziest thing I ever heard? My ears don't ring. I don't hear a thing. Uh-huh. Hey, wait a minute, sucker. You see? Foam the runway. B.A. is coming in. Let me know when your eyes start to fog. B.A., Murdoch's blood is not going to do a thing to you. Blood is blood. It's all the same. You know, it's red. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. Mine is special. Once upon a time, I didn't have a dime. My head went crazy. They said I was lazy, but I'm getting by on the fly. Murdoch! Knock it off. You're digging my grave here with B.A. Rock and roll. Where's Rico and little Tommy, huh? I don't know. I haven't seen him since last night. We were supposed to break up that meeting last night. Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm coming through. I need some space here. <clears throat> the sleeper followed by walking the dog. No applause, please. Hey, Giko, go yo-yo somewhere else, huh? I can't. My mommy told me not to stray too far from the building. She might want to send me to the store or something. I never see you around here before. We just moved into Mrs. Baracus's apartment. We sublet around the world. Hey, you can't do that. You can't sublet. Why can't we? Because I'm the super, that's why. 
Mr. Alvarez, I'm pleased to meet you. My mom is the new head of the Tenants Association Committee, and she gave me this little list of things that need to be fixed around the building. You ain't listening, kid. I said you can't live here. They told us we could. You see, we have to live here. You see, we were living out in Evanston, which made me inadmissible for the city championship, which were to be held in the beautiful Aragon Ballroom. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to ask you fellas to leave. You know, I've always wondered if the light was on when the door was closed. Let's find out, huh? <laughs> The answer to an age-old question. <laughs> oh! You forgot to break it. Very funny, yo-yo man. <laughs> oh, please, not his yo-yo hat. Hey, Jim. Don't worry, Mom. We'll find another place to live. Tried to stop him, Mr. Plout. Who the hell are you? No, oh, that's all right. You don't have to stand up. I am Mrs. Murdoch. I am chairwoman of the Tenants Committee for 700 Foster Avenue. Yeah? Well, turn that dune buggy around and roll on out of here. Not until I read my list of complaints, young man. <laughs> Show him, H.M. There's one for you, and there's one for us. Mm, yes. H.M. typed two copies. He's such a clever boy. Did you know? He won the regional hula hoop championship when he was only eight years old. But my real ambition is the yo-yo. Shut up, kid. Look, lady, somebody's obviously mistaken. I don't have anything to do with 700 Foster. Now you and the space cadet hit the streets before I throw you out the window. You can't be that nasty. Even you must have a mother. Around the world. <laughs> Get him out of my sight! Thanks for coming by. Meeting's over. Oh, not quite. I urge you to heed the list. You have until five o'clock tonight. If you do not take appropriate action, we will be forced to mail our list to the Housing Commission. Thank you for taking the time to see us. ¿Está por este? Sí. Bien. Hey, muchas gracias, muchacho. You just traded this truck for that car? Not a bad trade, huh? Want to help me push? Push? I'm telling you, it was a coincidence, Murdoch. It was a cow. It could have been a dragon or a water buffalo or maybe some kind of flying monster. Mm. You guys won't get smart and give us your names? Oh, Mom said to keep my name. So I'll take Mom's advice, thanks. But we appreciate the offer. 
It was a cow, a definite moo, exactly as I saw it in my mind. And don't try to make me feel any better, Face. I know I'm supposed to have a zany fantasy like, but I have never had anything jump out of the woodwork and give milk like that. It was scary. I've encountered destiny. Call Nichols in psych. Tell him we got a man seeing cows up in Sanders' office. Back to course, Captain. You think you're gonna knock over a casino with that thing? The world's gonna think that you knocked over a casino with that thing. They meet at 10, are we ready to roll? I'll say. You think you can control that thing? Hey, I can get us to the Silver Horse Hotel and back. I'm already as good as this guy. In your dreams, rookie. We don't need this clown, let's just waste him right here. You better be looking after that tail rotor, boy. You remember what the Russian label is for crosswind indicator, boy? He's a kid. He's just trying to psych you out. It's a lot of car, boy. Yeah, but I know what I'm doing. <laughs> my, my best student. It's too bad his teacher's gonna die. You see, after we get the cash, you crash and burn. That's why I don't want to shoot you. The scenario works better without any bullets in your body. <laughs> Crazed vet, cops commie chopper, Conks casino. <laughs> it's gonna look great in the tabloids. That's too much alliteration. You know, you begin to give me a headache. It'll play great in print, see? Government captures this chopper down in Kuruguay, and they bring it here to the Nevada desert, and you come along and steal it from the Americans and use it for a casino heist. You know, I was actually assigned to guard the thing. That's how I gained computer access to your previous adventures with the CIA. You got all your bases covered, right, Josh? You know it. We'll be back to uh, get you for the big party. Relax and enjoy your last hours. stay under my bed anymore, Face. I put his bowl under there and everything. I think the psychiatric ward's making Billy nervous. You know, he won't eat regularly. He barks <laughs> in the middle of the night. Did he change his flea collar? The dog gets fleas, it twists him, Murdoch makes him crazy. Look, Face, this man don't have a dog. So why are we sitting around here talking about a dog that don't exist? Yeah, it isn't that Billy doesn't exist. In a practical sense, Billy does exist. He represents a uh, love fixation that bridges a relationship gap Murdoch had when he was a child. Absolutely, man. Go on, Billy. Go on. This is my van. And I don't want to hear no more talk about Billy in my van. You got it? All right. You got the out of service signs, B.A.? Yeah. He's throwing out sweet rolls on the floor, Hannibal. Well, he's just uh, feeding his dog, Billy. Relax. Mur Murdoch throwing out food on the ground. Ain't no Billy. Man, how long are we gonna put up with this mess? The next stop is the Gear Jammers Cafe at the bottom of the grapevine. Let's go. Come on, Billy. Come on. How about Billy? Don't forget my dog, Billy. Yes. At least let him take his pet dog. I mean, fair is fair. Thanks, Colonel. Hey, Billy. Hey, oh. You think that's funny? We'll see how hard you laugh when we burn your crop. All right, boys, open up the tail and torch that load. Come on. Don't feel bad, Amy. Billy and I'll chip in, too. Won't you, boy? Good joke, good joke. Amy must have paid to lynch to warn us. Good girl. 
I wonder how long they've been following her. Well, if it was since this morning and if we'd been on schedule, we'd have landed right in Lynch's military lap. That means we're pretty lucky we crashed. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. Thank you.